Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Today I'm out in my shop, and uh, I'm going to be working on my John Deere uh, lawn tractor here. It is a S130, and I've had this about a year now, a little bit over a year. And uh, as you can see here, it's got this easy change oil filter system on it. And uh, what I understand, you buy this, put it on, and that's all you got to do. Do your oil change. But what I've heard, it's not good. And it leaves a lot of your oil still in your motor. So we're going to be doing away with that system today. And we're going to be uh, installing a, uh, a drain tube on it. And also a uh, nipple, put install a nipple to uh, install our new oil filter. And uh, I'll leave uh, the uh, numbers in the uh, description below for all these parts that's your oil filter right there and uh you probably gonna have some i know different oil filters you know you don't have to get this particular one but that's the oil filter right there and uh, the nipple itself is right here and um i don't know if you can set part number right there it's a miu13767 and Here's the uh, drain uh, tube nipple we're going to be installing. It is a 1AM131611, and I'll leave all these numbers below. And uh, it's been uh, last year, I knew I was going to be buying this kit, and I can't really tell you if I ordered off Amazon, but the, the box had this card in it, and this is actually uh the people I, i'm assuming that who shipped it to me and uh that might help you out right there uh let's see on the back here uh, yeah just uh but you probably would get this kit you know uh, a lot of different places and they got different kits also y'all uh this is just a particular one i purchased uh because i i like this design better than some of the other ones especially on this uh nipple right here and when you see me install it you'll see what i'm talking about it's got a five sides on the uh nipple itself when you install it right there uh so it's gonna be easy to install some of them's completely round on the inside of it but uh this gonna be make it a lot easier to install it but uh let me go ahead and get started and i'll show you how quick and easy it is the first thing we're gonna do is take this cover off it's gonna have a 5 16 or 8 millimeter bolt we're going to be taking out. Take this cover off. You can, you got a cover on both sides we're going to be taking off. So here's this uh, bolt right there. This cover just comes undone. So next we're going to be ready to take our uh, oil filter off. Looks like it got a zip tie on it. So we're going to take some uh, side cutter pliers. I'm just going to cut that loose. And right here it shows the illustration to, uh, to take it off, to unlock it. you got to twist it counterclockwise. So that's what we're going to do. I'm in a little bucket right here, ice cream bucket. Oil come out. Okay, let me get the pliers, take that off, because it's too tight, take it off with my hands there. I like this oil filter wrench here, it's just adjustable, but you can use any kind of oil filter wrench to fit it. So let's break it loose there, turn it. So we got a little oil coming out there. So that's what it looks like, y'all. If y'all never seen one, that's the first time I ever seen uh, this design set up like this. Y'all, okay, we're uh, ready to take this uh, bolt out here to take this uh, oil filter housing off. And what I'm gonna be using is a 28 millimeter. And uh, if in standard, I think that's probably gonna be a one and one eighth inch. But uh, I've got this 28. Just gonna break it loose here. Get that one back up 
under it there. You are going to have some oil run out. Uh, just uh, have to clean it up. But uh, what I did, I jacked this uh, lawnmower up on one side over here on this left side. Let all this oil, most of it, go back toward the other side. So I'm going to take that plug out on the other side, get a drain. So I uh, just want to let y'all know that might help you out there get a lot of oil out. Here's my oil filter nipple. You can see right here it's got uh, it's like a hex. It's got five uh, sides on it right there. And uh, what I'm going to be installing this with is a uh, T60 Torx bit. It fits in there real nicely there, snug. If you don't have that, you can also use a 12 millimeter bolt head. It fits right in there and just put your nut on the other end of it and tighten it up and it serves the same purpose. If you got like a 12 millimeter uh, hex um, bit, you can also use that. And that's the design of this uh, oil filter nipple. What I like about it, why I got this particular design. A lot of them is round on both sides, but this got where well, you can actually put a uh, tool in there. It's going to tighten up real good. You can put some Loctite on this if you want to to install it. I'm not going to do that. I don't feel it's going to back out. So I'm just going to install it, just a nipple by itself, no kind of thread seal or anything on it. And I'm just going to tighten it down, snug it down. It is aluminum type block here, so you don't want to overdo it. Just snug it up like that, and that should be good, y'all. Now I'm ready to install my oil filter. Ready to put my oil filter on and. Like all my oil filters, I just put me some engine oil on my O-ring. Also, my metal threads here. I always put uh, oil in that too, just to uh, lube that up. And uh, a lot of people may want to pre-fill their oil filter before they put uh, the filter on. But I don't never do that myself. Uh, I want to make sure all the oil that goes through is actually being filtered. So uh, I just put my oil filter on without any oil in it y'all, but y'all do what y'all want to do on that. All right y'all, there it is. Oil filter's on, so this side's done. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my cover back on and we'll go to the next side. All right y'all, I'm fixing to get ready to take this uh, drain plug out here on your right side, but first, this wiring harness I've taken loose from the clips right here and I'm just going to undo it from the connector move that out of my way so that won't get all oily because you're going to get a lot of oil spilling everywhere and I'll clean it up but once you uh, take that out and put that uh, drain nipple in we're not going to have to worry about that and what I'm using is a uh, one half inch 12 point socket I'm just going to just uh, tap it up there on it and I break it loose here. And I do have it uh, jacked up on that left side still to help the oil drain out on this side. Um, I'm going to try to get most of all the oil out that we can get out of it. Got the oil pan up under it. You can see that oil just going everywhere, but you might be able to put you a little, I don't know, make you a little funnel deal where it won't be so messy there. But uh, I'm just going to catch it here in my bucket. And uh, I'm thinking uh, should should be, I want to say they said about two quarts, somewhere like that. It might be a little bit over two quarts to refill it, but I'm not. 100% sure, but I'll let you know when I get finished how much oil I actually have to put back in it. So I'm going to let that drain there and I'll get back with you in a minute. Got some of this uh, thread sealant I'm going to put on my drain nipple right here. This is a gas oil. Uh, it just uh, works good if you're using any kind of uh, needing 
used on oil or any kind of sell anything that they got to do with fuel or anything like that. So I'm going to just put some of sealant on it and uh, install this drain. All right, y'all, I'm just cleaning these threads up inside the engine here. Getting ready to install this drain plug. What I'm using a 25 millimeter socket, or you can use a 24, uh, I'm sorry, what I'm using is a uh, 24 millimeter, or you can use a uh, 15 sixteenths uh, socket. I'm just going to snug this up, I'm not going to over tighten it. All right, y'all, that's it. And uh, it's got an O-ring around it. And it comes with this little black cap that you just uh, install and it locks into place. And that's it, y'all. Uh, when I get ready to do my oil change now, all I gotta do is just take this off, drain my oil, take my filter off, and I'll be good to go. And uh, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and install my wiring harness back for my headlights and hook it back up and uh, go ahead and get my oil in it. I'll let y'all know how much oil it takes to refill it. Since it's uh, rattling more, more, it is a 22 horsepower. Uh, it's, it's going to be a Briggs and Stratton engine. So I just wanted to show y'all that. And it is the S130 model. And I believe it, it's not going to make much difference on that as far as the engine, as long as it's a similar engine. And it's got that same type setup. It's probably going to be the same kit, y'all. But I uh, just want to show y'all me replacing that. Uh, maybe help you out if you got that uh, oil filter set up on yours and you want to change it to just one that you drain yourself and make sure you get all your engine oil out uh, this is how you do it there uh, it's quick and it's easy it's a little messy there i could probably done a little better job as far as putting uh some funnels or something up under or catching the oil but uh, uh just uh just remember to uh put your right uh engine oil in it it does take a 10 w30 engine oil and it took a little bit over two quarts, probably like maybe two and a quarter quarts of oil to completely fill it up. So uh, I appreciate y'all coming along today. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, friends, from my family to yours, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.